Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting Morathi from the Daughters of Cain, Age of Sigmar Ari. And as you can see here, we're working on the uh, larger snake form of her as she has the two forms and we've already done the snake body the dress and begun working on the flesh and we are going to work on the wings in this video we're going to start off with some cadian flesh tone we're going to be spraying it through a badger uh, patriot 105 at around 20 psi i'm simply using just a bit of folded paper here to uh, act as a um, guard against overspray onto any other parts of the model and of course because it's uh, just a couple uh, pieces of paper here it's uh, fairly easy to fold and maneuver around and you know basically lay this base coat onto the model very carefully next is magenta and this is from uh golden paint line this is their high flow paint line this is a uh, airbrush paint and uh, i'm using a uh, renegade uh, chrome spraying it around uh, 10 psi and basically all i'm doing is i'm laying in little squiggly lines just basically you know almost like little lightning things all over the place and that's just to create like the veiny like texture in the wings and that's really all that's going to do and you can see there where i've done it onto both sides of the wings very carefully on the inside of the one big folded wing it was kind of a pain to do but got it done kislev flesh is next and basically we're going to spray this through the uh, renegade chrome as well and a downward motion and concentrating at the opening of the uh, membrane and then quickly working the brush upwards towards the, uh, the towards the fingers or the knuckles as it were as you can see there we just quickly work our way through each of the little membranes spraying concentrating most of the spray in through the center but making sure that we are spraying uh, downwards into the uh, membranes Terminus Stone is next. We're going to add this to our previous mixture of Kislev Flesh, uh, making it uh, roughly one-to-one. -one. It's more like more Terminus than it is uh, Kislev. And then really quickly here, we're, again, we're just concentrating more at the opening of the membrane down at the bottom of the wing, uh, getting it brighter at the ends. And then next, we will... Um, take some pallid witch flesh we're going to grab a medium dry brush here and basically we are just going to begin uh or just finish this little effect on the wings and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and concentrate most of my brushworks in a downward fashion on each of the membranes themselves concentrating more of the color at the bottom of the, each of those little sections uh, but allowing you know but going for about two-thirds the way up each of the little sections of the of the wing just to get some of those highlights and bring out that texture but again i wanted to hit the upper portion upper portion um just to illustrate uh you know the highlighting and such and to really bring bring out that texture and as you can see there it's fairly subtle and it's nothing too major we didn't really want to disturb all the little subtle effects we got going on and then finally we're going to grab some screamer pink and we're going to use some Lamian medium thin it down ever so slightly grab our nice ourselves a nice little detail brush here i just got this little, little standard brush here it's got it comes to a nice point and i'm just going to begin laying in some vine uh, vines veins uh in the uh in the section in between like the fingers of the uh, wings themselves uh i didn't really want to go too hilarious with this i uh, come in too far down the membranes and so i just kept it up fairly quickly close to where I had laid more of the magenta in towards like the central knuckle area of the uh, of the wing hand itself again you can see it's just simply drawing little veins uh, imagine drawing like little trees as long as you keep your brush perpendicular to the surface you'll be able to maintain a nice thin line and as you see there we just did the one and then we'll do the other side as well you can see there again we didn't uh, go too hilarious on them and I only did it on the one side I didn't really feel it need needed it on both sides of the wings and that is it it's easy as that well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.